Hello, I'm Candy Burris, and I'm 15 years old. Wow, you guys, we have Versus coming up this weekend against SWV, one of my favorite girl groups. Sometimes it's soft as a It's going to be an amazing moment. I decided that leading up to Versus, I want to go back down memory lane and give you a whole bunch of fun memories from my past being in the group Escape growing up. So let me tell you some fun facts. Fun facts! Obviously, Escape was not our first name that we ever came up with. The Our group, we had multiple group names, right? We had, oh my God, we had Atlanta's Best Kept Secret. And at the time, we used, we had these robes that would cover our faces and we thought we was just gonna sing and people not know who we are. And that was like the little, that was like the theme of it. You we could sing and you wouldn't have to see us, you know what I mean? Yeah, that didn't last long. Then we, we used to have a club, so Tasha, she was, you know, always like the leader of the group or whatever. In high school, she was a senior when I first met Tasha and I was a freshman, but you know, she was always real popular or whatever. And um, I remember she had started this little club that we was in, it was called Touche. So Touche, it was like, you know, a clique more than a club. Some may say it was like a gang. But it was a group, it was a posse, you know, it was, it was a fun, it was a group of girls, you know what I mean? It was a clique, it was a club. It was a whole bunch of us that, you know, we went to school together and we hung out together and it was called Touche. And so at one point we had called the group Sounds of Touche. Yeah, that didn't last long either, that didn't work, that didn't work. We had a couple other names that didn't stick or whatever that I honestly don't even remember. I will have to say that Tasha was the one who came up with the idea of using the name Escape. She said that we were going to be escaping from the stereotypes of other girl groups. And we was like, okay. I personally feel like we definitely lived up to the name because the, okay, so back in the day, obviously, we used to learn a lot of songs and sing for people whenever we got a chance. And one of the main artists that we used to learn all of their songs was the group in Vogue. We loved In Vogue, like In Vogue was amazing. But you know, In Vogue, you know, they were women who, you know, they banging bodies, you know, and they hair and, you know, outfits was fly and everything. And they was very seductive, but we were not coming from that angle. You know, we were much younger than them. We were, you know, we were in high school. I was in high school, you know. That wasn't the angle that we were coming from. We were more so like the girls next door, the girls that you hang out and kick it with, like your home girl, like not trying to be sexy, not trying to, you know, give this old extra image. It was more so people that you could relate to. I don't think, you know, women were necessarily doing it that way with the baggy clothes and doing it like that at that time. I mean, TLC definitely wore baggier clothes, but you know, they were more bright, colorful, and they had a message to give about sex and stuff like that. Ours was not, our message wasn't really about sex. It was just more so like, yeah, we, you know, let's kick it. We had the bandanas and the high tech boots and you know, that was just more of our vibe. And, but we could like really sing down like it invoked. It was giving you two different things. It was giving you girls that was singing at the church choir, <laughs> but the girls that, you know, you would hang out with after school. I definitely felt like we were escaping, escaping from the stereotypes of what you think a girl group should be. For that, I would have to say, Tasha knew what she was talking about. 